Hello, and today we're going to be looking at how to create a table of contents in Google Docs. So what I've got already is my document set up. So I'm just going to scroll through to show you that. And what I've done using styles, I've applied the right styles to my document. So this is my title, as you can see here. And I've got these are all heading one. So heading one, heading two, heading three, and heading four. They're all in the heading one style. I've then got a subheading I've got here, which is I've done as heading two and the rest is normal text. If you don't know how to set up styles, then do check out the video we've got on how to set up styles. So once you've done that, it's really simple to then insert a table of contents into your document. I'm just going to put an enter in there just to create some space, and then go into insert, down the bottom here, table of contents. There's two options. There's one here with page numbers, and the second with blue links. Now the second one doesn't have page numbers. Um, let's start with the first one which page numbers and it simply inserts the table of contents into your document there now just so you know each of these are then links as well so if you do click on the link it will take you to the heading so we'll do that there take us to the heading being aware that if you actually change things it will also update the table of contents so if I wanted to add an extra section in I'm copying that Pasting that, I'm changing that to 1.3. There's a little refresh tool to update the table of contents, and that will update the headings and the page numbers. So equally, if I go to my end of my document and change this to conclusion instead of heading, again, refresh that, and then it brings in that new heading for you. If you want to delete your heading, your table of contents, you've got to make sure you actually select the whole thing to delete it. And click delete. I'll just show you how the other table of contents looks. Table of contents, and we're doing the one with blue links. Again, very similar, just without the page numbers and their underlying looking like links. But as I said, in the other table of contents, they are linked. So if you want them linked, you don't have to do it this way. I hope you have found this video helpful. We have many more training videos on our training site and YouTube channel. You can also email us with any queries.